Hello, my name is Ezekiel, and I am a professional video editor. And, hey guys, my name is Sophia, and I am a professional influencer who makes videos. Finally, we have an image generator that can accurately generate hands and fingers, and it can also produce text with precision. Not only that, but it can follow tricky prompts really well and even generate those mediocre, low-quality selfie images that people often take. With this new image generator, it would be almost impossible to distinguish AI photos from real ones. As you can see on my screen, Flux AI has amazingly generated this iPhone selfie picture, and you can also see the prompt used by the person who generated it. Flux can create such high-quality images, better than previous models like Stable Diffusion 3 and SDXL, with proper text, accurate anatomy, and overall great pictures. It's fully open source, which is a very cool tool, to say the least. However, using it can be a challenge because not everyone has a powerful GPU to run it locally. If you want to use it for free, there aren't many easy options, as most are either a hassle to use or limited in some way. But today, I have something that's actually quite easy to use, fully free, and can generate great images quickly. It's TensorArt. TensorArt is a really cool platform that allows you to generate images with a variety of models like Stable Diffusion 3, SDXL, Hunan Dit, and more. They've also added the new Flux model, so we can now use it for free. They give 100 free credits daily, and each Flux image generation takes about one credit, depending on the resolution you choose. Additionally, you get 20 free Flux generations apart from the daily credits, which is really cool. They also have an image-to-image -image option, allowing you to create images at any resolution you want, which is also very cool. Now let's dive right into it, and I'll show you how you can use Flux through TensorArt for free. First, go to TensorArt, and you'll see this page. There are a bunch of things here, but first, sign up. You can use the link in the description to get an extra 100 credits on top of the daily credits you receive. Once you're on the TensorArt page, scroll down until you see the Articles section. Here, you need to click on the second option, Mastering Flux Prompt Engineering, Article. Click on it, and you'll find a detailed article on Flux Prompt Engineering. By reading through these points, you'll learn a lot about how to generate amazing images using Flux. This is a very helpful resource. You'll also see a ChatGPT link. Click on it, and you'll be taken to a page where you can interact with ChatGPT. Let me show you something. Suppose I write, hey, I want a picture on Flux AI with a girl in a car, sunset, and sea. Click enter, and you'll see ChatGPT generate five prompts based on my image request. You won't believe it, but when I copied the third prompt, which says, a young woman sitting in the driver's seat of a luxury car gazing at the sunset over the sea, and pasted it into TensorArt's Flux One Dev prompt box. The result was amazing. It's literally unbelievable how perfectly Flux AI realistically generated this image. Look at the sunset and sunlight gently falling on the girl's face, just as I described in the prompt. Wow. This means that even if you're not an expert in prompt writing and can't express your mental image in words, you can use the ChatGPT Flux prompt link. Just share what you want in any language, like English or Hindi, and ChatGPT will write the prompt in English as needed. You can see on my screen how awesome this is. Now, back to TensorArt. I'll show you how to select the best Flux model for your image. To use Flux AI in TensorArt, you need to click on Models, where you'll see many models, including the Flux model, as shown on my screen. Let's suppose I click on the Flux One Dev FP8 model and enter it. Here, you'll see the Run option. Click on it, and you'll find the Prompt Paste area and the Negative Prompt Paste area. As I mentioned before, you can use ChatGPT to generate a prompt and paste it here. And after that, you can click Generate, and the result will be shown on the right side. As you can see, I am generating the previously blue elephant. But I want to share a secret about TensorArt AI. If you go back to the homepage, you can earn some dollars by making AI images. Click on Events, and then the first one, Flux Model Event. You can see on my screen the first prize is an RTX 5090, the second is $600, and the third is $300. Wow! 
Now, I'll show you step by step how to participate in this training event and earn this cash. You need to upload the best model in Flux TensorArt. Go to the home screen and click Online Training. Here, you'll see many things like model themes. Click Custom, then click on the base model again. As you can see on my screen, I click in this area, and now you'll see various models. We will choose Flux 1 because we are participating in the event to earn dollars. I click Flux 1 as you can see. Now our base model is selected, Flux 1. Wow, that's nice. You can edit the number of epochs and repeat images as well. An epoch basically means how many iterations will be done during the training. An epoch is how many times the model will be trained iteratively. Repeat images means if you have 20 images, it will make the images 40 in the training dataset by just duplicating them. This generally produces better results. After that, you'll need to define a trigger word. A trigger word is what will trigger this training in the base model. For example, if you are training a model on your face, you can use your name or something similar as the trigger word. You'll also need to enter a prompt that will be run after each epoch to see the results after each set of training, which is pretty cool. Now, what will I be training? I'll be training it with a simple blue elephant. I'll be training it with photos of a blue elephant that I have actually generated with Flux, as you can see on my screen. As I said a few minutes ago, you can enter your prompt here and generate Flux images. So, I generated multiple elephant images and uploaded them to the online training center, as you can see. You can train it with your own images or anything you want. I'll keep the elephant word as Blue King Elephant without any spaces and enter a simple prompt here as well. Once you've done everything and uploaded all your files, just hit the Start Training button and the training will begin. Okay, so this training is in the queue. I think these tasks are handled one by one, so it might take some time. Now, you can see that our model training is completed as I wanted. You can publish any model that you think is perfect to run. For example, I've published the first model. You can see that our model is ready. Click on Publish, then click Create Project. I named the project Flux One Blue Animal. Next, select the channel as your category. I selected Realistic, as you can see, and choose Related Tags for your generated model. Then click Create, and now your model is ready to host. Here. I will only add trigger words. If you want to add a description, feel free to do so and also add a negative prompt if needed. Then simply click Publish. As you can see on my screen, my model is successfully published. Look here, and now people can come and run my model. You can see that I currently have only two models posted. If you want to win this event, you can click on this document and read all the guidelines. Yes, you can definitely win. I will add the link to this AI website in the description.